Hello, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. We have a daytime moon here in Phuket, so I'm going to do, make one of those observations that uh, people often request and uh, somehow see as proof that uh, uh, science has all the answers as to where we live and uh, what the moon is and what the earth is. So there's the moon with uh, half a shadow on the bottom and there's an orange with a shadow in the same place, which is uh, pretty cool, huh? So, okay, it does match up in that respect. But on the, on the orange there, we can see this kind of spotlight of the sun being reflected off it. So uh, we don't see uh, a spotlight of any reflection on the moon. So that's one thing that doesn't match up with uh, a spherical object, even though we got the, the shadows matching up. Another thing that's uh, interesting to consider is that uh, the daytime moon is always white like this, uh, the same as the clouds in the sky that are white because the sun is shining through them. So does that make the moon something similar to clouds? Does, is, is the sun shining through the moon as well? Difficult to say, isn't it? We can't really tell. Uh, but let's try it with something concave. So I've got a bowl here and uh, it's interesting that in Thailand uh, they talk about the waxing and waning of the moon as being uh, tilting, as something tilting. Uh, so we can see here hopefully, where's my moon? Can't see very clearly in the, in the view. Okay, all right. So there it is again, there's the shadow. And we can see with the concave bowl that the shadow is opposite. It's on the top and the light is on the bottom. But what if we do this? Suddenly we have shadow on the bottom and light on the top. So we can, in fact, get the same effect when we tilt the bowl this way. Uh, we see the same thing as we see on the sun. So, any ideas that shadows on the moon are any kind of conclusive proof about uh, where we are and what we're looking at are um, still very much open to interpretation. And of course, in no way do they prove uh, the shape of the earth that we are on just when we look up into the sky and see something like that. All right, so there you go, I've done it now just for those people that have demanded it uh, for ages. Hope you're satisfied that uh, I've done it, but you won't be satisfied with my interpretation of it. I know that, but I'm not saying uh, that it is definitive proof of anything. I'm just uh, pointing out that we can recreate these observations in various different ways. So to uh, conclude one thing uh, without taking into consideration the other. So to conclude that the, the moon is a sphere because we see the shadow is the same as being on a sphere, but yet we don't take into consideration things like this spotlight effect and other things like that, or the fact that you can, you can do it with a concave bowl as well, means uh, nothing is conclusive about these observations in the sky. Thank you very much.